Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jess Kik from EXRS and today we are doing a crazy grocery haul. I am thrilled to be able to show you guys this because I went on a crazy deal shopping adventure and it was so much fun. Fun. It literally is my entertainment for life now. Besides, of course, the kids. But it's it's how I get out and how I just have fun. And well, Nelson and I we take turns doing the grocery shopping. But anywho, I want to share with you that I was able to get all of this here up to this point here. All of this for like under fifty bucks. It was amazing, amazing, amazing. And 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 besides. The milk, everything was $2 or less per unit, okay? Unit meaning either per pound or per actual full container of it. And most of it was actually a dollar or less. Make sure you stay to the end because I'm going to share with you some deals that I got that were absolutely insane and how I was able to get this for free. I did go to three different places. Ignore the work mess back there but my day started at ranch fest because tomorrow is actually our lunar new year's and i needed to get some stuff for new year so i did that and then i went to no frills after some deliveries and then i finished the night off at food basic so let's start with the new year stuff first off this stuff a lot of it was definitely frivolous paid full price for the actually no i got 50 cents off for the pocket so the pocket ended up being 447 because i think it's regular like 497 Ginevra loves Pocky. It's going to be her New Year's treat. I haven't gotten her Pocky in a long time. So she's going to be really excited about that tomorrow. I also got two of these. They are sunflower seeds. They are flavored. Uh, in Chinese, call them guazi. And I just know that we buy them for New Year's. And I got them last year for New Year's as well. And they're really good. The coconut one's actually really, really delicious. Fun fact, though, did you know that actually No Frills sells them cheaper than the Asian grocery store when it's on sale? So I was like, mm -hmm. Not by a lot. Well, yeah, about 75 cents per bag. So if you're buying a lot of them, it does add up. I did buy four of these because I gave two of them to my father-in-law and his fam, like my father-in-law, my mother-in-law, and then of course my sister-in-law and them. And then these two are for my mama. And then I also bought some shrimp trips. Ginevra loves these and I like them because they're small. I can't eat these because I have a severe shellfish allergy, but she loves these. So I figured for Chinese New Year's, it's red. Red is happy. Red, all I know is red is a good color for the New Year. So I got her two of these. These were like $1.97 each. So they were not a great deal either. But I wanted to get this here, which is the, um, the rice paper because I have some ideas for some recipes that I want to try and I got this one because I like the fact that it only has three ingredients rice salt and water so the other ones that I saw they were cheaper but the thing is they didn't have the ingredients on it and I don't actually know if that's allowed but this one did and so I was like all right let's do it and I I mean I always had these at Vietnamese restaurants and it's made in Vietnam so it has to be pretty legit right I hope so Anyways, now moving on into this section here, which is the food basic section here. Okay, you're going to see that I bought one bag of milk from food basic and two bags of milk from no frills. Why is because what had happened was that I went to no frills first and they were out of milk. They only had two bags left of the homo and this haul here isn't all for me guys. I also went grocery shopping for my mom because we are still in lockdown here. So part of these groceries are for her and and her littles that she has that she takes care of so um no, i'm not eating all of this myself so this is actually quite a bit gorgeous, but i got such good deals such good deals anyhow no frills was having a milk shortage so they only was able to get two bags of them but then i was like okay i need to go to food basic anyway so that i looked at food basic found another bag for mom so yay for that so i got a bag of milk and again the milk was around five dollars and 59 cents for the bag this is the uh light gaily whipped cream this is really fun for Ginevra's for her hot chocolate she really likes it or what we call hot chocolate I, it's actually like ovaltine and i call it her hot chocolate it's not really chocolate guys but i mean it's better for her than hot chocolate but anyways this is actually really nice it's really nice tasting i can't even tell that it's light cream so we're doing that and that was like two dollars so again everything overall 
was a fantastic deal that I got. Um, grapes were okay. These grapes here are green grapes. I'm going to split this bag between my mom and I um, because, I mean, Nathaniel likes grapes, but Ginevra hates them, so I don't need a lot. So I'm going to split this bag between my mom and I, and they were like a dollar forty-seven a pound, which is, yeah, so-so. Nelson's favorite are the seedless black grapes, so I haven't been able to find some in a while, so we stuck with the green grapes. All right, this here is a tub of sour cream. I love cooking with sour cream now, baking with sour cream, and I've been making bunt cakes with sour cream, and it has been delicious. But this one here, it was originally $2.20, and it was 50% off because it's approaching its expiration date in another six days, and so that's why it was 50% off. But hey, I'm baking this weekend, so I can probably just use this all up anyways. And the other thing is I read that you can actually put this in the freezer. The texture will be different, so it won't be good for dipping, but you can definitely use it for sauces and such. So this ended up only being $1.10, which is really good for a 500 ml container of sour cream up where I am. Um, got three broccoli crowns. The broccoli crowns are actually really well priced this time. Last time they had them at 88 cents a pound, which is like a so-so deal. But these times were 88 cents for the entire crown. And this is definitely over a pound here. And look at the size of this. Like, it's like the size of my face. It's a broccoli the size of my face. I'm probably cooking at least two of these at a time or three of them. I still have another one in the fridge. So we're set for broccoli for a while. These are the boneless half pork loins and these were at a really good price too it's a dollar 88 a pound so for the entire thing here it was like 16 dollars, and this one was 15 dollars. i just made sure that the fat cap wasn't too thick because then i feel like that's a bit of a waste but what we do is we do divvy these up we'll probably be able to divide these into like one two three four to five pieces and each one of those will last us a couple of meals and i i mean i've done roast with these i've done pulled pork with these i've done a lot of different things for pulled pork though i make it really saucy because it's not like insanely marbled inside so it's gonna be a very lean pulled pork but I like that because I make it really really saucy and Ginevra loves it too we put it onto sandwiches or I make my version of carnitas with this and it's oh my gosh so good this was a bit of a fun find this is the mild Italian sausage I see this all the time but I never buy it because it's never on sale but this time it was 40% off again because it's getting close to the the best before date probably and so what I did was um I ended up, uh, I'm going to just probably just end up freezing these and then using these as a meal some at some point or like just even like using one or two at a time for some sort of cooking adventure. But it was $7.99 and then 40% off. So it worked out to be about four, I think I, I want to say like $4.39 for all of them. So it's like less than a dollar sausage. So that's pretty good. We also got some Fuji apples. I think I got eight or 10 of them and they were on sale for $1.49 a pound or $1.47, something like that. And these these are Nelson's absolute favorite. Ginevra loves these as well. They're super duper crisp, super duper sweet. I think I read for out of all the varieties, the Fuji apples are one of the sweetest apples. Nelson really likes them when you mix it with French vanilla ice cream. It actually is a really delicious dessert. It, it's, it's really good. Like, really good. Uh, but I did end up getting another type of apple. I also got some ambrosia apples. I don't think I've ever had them before. Nelson thinks that I bought them before, but I don't remember them at all. Um, but you guys let me know, what's your favorite kind of apple? Like, can you really super tell the difference? I, I know I can tell by the texture of it and some side of the flavoring, but like as, besides that, I can't really tell much of a difference. I don't know. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I also got some oranges here from um, Food Basics. Actually, I think these might be clementines or mandarins or something like that. But these are the ones with stems. And these are the, I bought these specifically for New Year's because I've, I heard that you want them with the leaves. So I'm hoping that these are good ones. I've never bought them with leaves before. So if I bought the wrong ones, mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> but they're really pretty. Look at them. Look at them. And it was so funny. Like I tried to buy the one with, with like a nice leaf. They're pretty, right? Okay, so anyways, there was this lady, because uh, we have to line up in order to get our groceries and stuff, and there was a lot of people trying to buy these because of the new year. And so then this other lady comes in, and it's a it was a really good price. It was like 98 cents a pound, so it was actually cheaper than navel oranges. She didn't want to pay for the leaves, so she started ripping the leaves off of them in the bin so she wouldn't have to pay for the weight of the leaves and like the stem and stuff. And... <laughs> <laughs> myself and another Asian person who is like socially distanced uh, on the other side of the bed. We were like, what are you doing? 
in our minds, of course, I, we didn't really say it out loud, but it's just kind of funny because we specifically wanted with the leaves and then she specifically did it. So to each their own. This here was $58, which is like okay because I mean, there is a lot of protein. It was very protein heavy this shopping trip. Nelson also wanted me to get some tomatoes there, but they were sold out of tomatoes and they were sold out of a couple of other things. I can't quite remember off the top of my head right now, but I remember tomatoes were one of those things that they were completely sold out of, so we didn't end up getting any of those. All right, moving on to the big one now. Here we go, my friends. Here is the majority of the actual food stuff, although this was actually, I feel like this is the best deal. We start off with two bags of milk. The milk here is one cent cheaper than um, at Food Basic. So I think it was one cent, one or two cents. But anyway, so it's five dollars and fifty-seven. No, two cents cheaper because this was five fifty-seven and this was five fifty-nine. My mom, I'm gonna give one bag to, and then we're gonna keep two bags here because she still has some milk that's frozen. I have two bags of zucchini. The zucchinis were a dollar a pound, which over here has been really good because I've seen them as high as two dollars and twenty-seven cents a pound, which is like berserkly insane to my mind because I remember like a year and a half ago they were like seventy-nine cents or sixty-seven cents a pound so we got them on a dollar pound so i got two bags of those each bag has 10 zucchinis in it and um i love cooking with zucchini nathaniel loves zucchini Geneva loves zucchini nelson will eat zucchini as well you can make zucchini boats you can make zucchini spaghetti we do a lot of like zucchini stir fries with either um like minced meat or like some chicken or something and that's really tasty as well or you can just grill these like a little bit of olive oil done so good but yeah these were a dollar a pound which is really fantastic uh we got two but uh, two things of bananas i always get a, a couple that are a little bit more ripe and then a little bit more green so that we can use them for a longer period of time i also get them like i tend to try to get them a little bit smaller too so the kids can actually just like finish a banana between them and uh so there's not like too heavy for them but these were 56 cents a pound which is pretty good now also the price of sweet potatoes have seemed to have really gone up here is um just some of the regular sweet sweet potatoes and they were on sale for a dollar a pound which has been really really good because I've seen them again for like $2.27 a pound or like $1.97 a pound so a dollar a pound good Nathaniel loves sweet potatoes Ginevra also loves sweet potatoes uh, Ginevra likes it when I just kind of um, make them almost like potato chips and I just throw them in the oven and I drizzle some oil I'll add a little bit of salt it is delicious and healthy bag of onions because we need some onions I'm trying something you guys can tell me whether or not this is a good idea because I hate Hate is a strong word, but I highly, 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 highly dislike peeling onions. I don't like peeling onions. I had a series on my other channel, The Dancing Avon Lady, called Jesse vs. The Onion. The Onion won almost every single time. I would be in tears. My eyes would be watering and burning. Oh my gosh. I've tried so many different things. There was only one thing that worked, and I'll link that video up here. <laughs> It was so funny. But anyways, I don't like peeling onions. And so I decided to get some that were looked like most of the peelings off. Now, I'm hoping that these will last because I'm also assuming that the peel protects them a little bit. Maybe I'm a little bit crazy for buying them like this, but I'm just going to give it a try and find out. We'll see. We'll see. Let me know, guys, in the comments. Do you buy your onions like this or more? The more peeling, the better. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. All right, next we have a thing of uh, lemon juice. I do have some real lemons, but in the case, so I was not, I need some lemon juice and I don't have any on hand. This stuff is always really handy. This was a dollar and then I have an online coupon for 20, uh, 25 cents off one, which I can redeem just from using my phone. So I actually don't have to do any coupon cutting, which is always excellent because a lot of times I actually forget the coupons. <laughs> So uh, I think there is a link that I can post up and if there is, I'm going to share it in the comment section below and uh, whether or not there's any perks in there for you. Then I also have some lettuce. Yes, three heads of lettuce, two for my mom and one's for me. Um, we just like to cook some lettuce every now and then or maybe in a sandwich or something. But yeah, so these were also a dollar. Again, a good deal considering think all, all the produce prices have gone up. Here are the ambrosia apples I was telling you guys about. So these were on sale for a dollar a pound. So it's like 50 cents cheaper than the other ones. But I've never, I don't remember ever having these. It feels like a really nice and firm apple. So I think it's going to be nice and crisp, which is nice. The only kind of apple that I really, really, really don't like are mealy apples. I'm a big texture person. And so if anything's like super mealy, it's 
I don't find it as appetizing. I'll eat it, but I don't find it as appetizing. So um, hoping it'll be nice and crisp and not mealy. Finishing up with the fruits, I also got some navel oranges here. They're just big oranges. And the last time I got these, they're really good, a dollar a pound. Not so bad. Also, um, here's another thing that I thought was really funny because it was actually cheaper at No Frills than it was at TNT. These are just little seaweed snacks. I use these to make what I call a deconstructed matsubi. It's basically like fried spam with some seaweed and rice with some special sauce. I will make a video on that someday if you guys like. But it's, it would taste it better with this than the actual seaweed, big seaweed square. So that's why I got these. And she never really likes these as a snack as well. I'm not so much of a fan, but she really likes them. Okay. We also ended up getting two things of sugar because the sugar was on sale for a dollar. They did have a limit of four, but I thought I figured I only needed two. Since last time around, I did buy one. I haven't opened that one yet. So this will last us for several, several, several months. I got three things of juice, two guava nectars and one mango nectar. They're probably higher in sugar, um, but they're really good. I dilute my juice for Ginevra all the time. I di even dilute it for myself, to be honest with you. Or I'll mix a little bit into the ginger ale to give it a little bit of flavor. But these are just really yummy, and I love guava. It's really delicious. And then, of course, oh, and these were also a dollar each. These were all a dollar each. And then we have a big 10-pound bag of uh, russet potatoes, which was an insane deal. Do you remember the TNT video that I told you guys about where it was oh, like $6 for a bag of potatoes? These are the most expensive potatoes I've ever bought in my life. Six uh, bag of 10-pound potatoes for, for $6, which is pretty crazy to me. These were $1.88. Now, also got a thing of cream cheese because one of my clients, my Avon clients, just sent me a, um, a recipe for a cream cheese bundt cake and it looked delicious. And so I said, I need some cream cheese in order to do that. Plus, of course, the sour cream. Now, the thing is when you're buying cream cheese, if you want it in like one of those little plastic containers, it's gonna be a little bit more, I've noticed. So this one was, I think it was like the same price as the plastic container, but this one had a little bit more more weight to it than the other one so it's technically a better value so you do you you decide what you like a little bit more um, and what's a little bit more convenient for you now finally i want to talk about the two super awesome deals which includes some bread here and then this sausage that i got for free so the bread here this bagel guys and i did this last time too but i didn't film a video on it this bag these bagels were 50 cents the way our no frills work it's it's kind of awesome is that even if it's on sale and then it's 50 percent off it's still 50 cent off the sale price so these were on sale for a dollar and then we got an extra 50 percent off on it so these were actually end up being 50 cents for the entire six bagels which is an insane deal these can easily just go into the freezer and because they're already pre-sliced too i'll probably slice it a little bit more just to make it easier to pop into the toaster oven but i'll just reseal it and i did this last time around too and we have bagels for whenever we want yay they're not the same as montreal bagels well nothing compares to the montreal bagels if you have had Montreal bagels before and you love them, give a thumbs up on this video because you know those Montreal bagels deserve a thumbs up. And then, of course, also I did the same deal which applied to these here, the uh, English muffins. These English muffins are like ginormous. I've never bought this particular brand of English muffins, but they are huge, like huge, huge, huge. They're actually quite soft, so I think they're actually going to be really good. They were $1.80. Uh, and then another 50 cents is off. So it like, works out to be like 90 cents for an entire thing of English muffins. And Ginevra loves these. I really like these when I make like my avocado toast. Or you can just like poach an egg and then put some cheese on it on an English muffin. Oh my God, so good with lots and lots of pepper. Yum. And then the final thing here, guys, is this beauty here. This is the Schneider's Naturally Hardwood Smoked Oktoberfest Sausage. We've had these before. These are really tasty. Nelson actually found an online coupon for it for a free pack, and that's why we were able to get this completely free. And so if you do um, go online, you can often find websites like special deals or, um, you know, like, items to try he was only able to print off one of these or i probably would have gotten more because again they are really good and hey it's free food
And then I know that there's a bunch of other companies. I know Chapman's used to do it so that every year you can get a free tub of ice cream if you if you send them a, an email. I don't know if they do that now, so please make sure you go onto the Chapman website and check it out before you bombard them with an email saying, hey, you know, Jess said that you give out free ice cream. Not that you guys would do that. But they gave out a free calendar this year, which was kind of fun. So, um, yeah, that's how we were able to get this completely for free. Look online. Nelson's on a, on a forum called Red Flag Deals or RFD, which has a lot of Canadian content for how to save money or like crazy deals. And that's where we do find a huge chunk of our promotions and our deals that we take advantage of, such as like, um, when, <laughs> The time that he got an entire trunk load of of iced tea for about four dollars and ninety seven cents. Entire trunk load. I'm not even kidding. I used to have a Pontiac Sunfire, and those have pretty big trunks. And he was able to f fill up that entire trunk with iced tea. Yeah, because of a deal. Long story short, my husband's a huge deal lover. Um, and if you guys ever want to see any of those deals, let, do let me know in the comments below. But uh, he is on something called RFD a lot. And I'm on Flip and an online thing called Checkout 51. Plus, I check out online coupons whenever I can. I'm not into it as much now as I was when I was pregnant with Ginevra simply because of timing. I'm like Nathaniel's super busy. But yeah, that's how we save money on groceries. I... I do deal stack like the 50% off in-store coupons with a sale on top of it already, or I'll look for online deals um, such as the one from RFD or the one from Checkout 51, which I will see if I can link it down below. And like all of this cost $49 dollars, which is insane. Like for like all of this, 49 bucks, which is incredible right? Like such a good deal. I was so impressed with it, so happy with it. And um, actually, I would have been able to do another $20 off and make this like a $29 haul. But I wanted to save those points for a little bit later on to do a bigger haul with it. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this relatively short but very fruitful grocery haul. I was really happy with this haul because not only did I get some really great deals for myself, I also got some really great deals for my mom. And so we can all enjoy it. If you're new to this channel, make sure you do come and hang out with us again. I do try to post up a video every Wednesdays um, on this channel. That is my goal. Hopefully you can... I can stick with it, but if you want to hang out with us some more, make sure you do click the subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. If you want to see some more of my content, make sure you do jump over to the Dancing Avon Lady channel where I do post up twice a week, usually every Mondays and Fridays, and every now and then I'll also have a bonus video up there. Thanks for watching, guys. I love you. Until next time, stay safe and stay healthy, and Happy New Year. Wishing you a wonderful year of the ox. So, Sunday, Valak, Tukta, Gasantai, Kihang, Lo Majing, Happy New Year, everyone. My Chinese is a little awkward. Bye.